Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about what I think are the top five reasons you may not be practicing. And then I'm going to counter those five reasons with things that might help you practice more. Obviously, get around those problems. Um, if you know anyone that's having problems practicing or getting their practice going, uh, please send them this video. That will help me out and hopefully it helps them out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and put a comment and let me know which of these problems you think affects you the most with your practice. So, number five, time. Okay, we all have issues with time. This one's pretty obvious, um, but let me tell you something. Firstly, you don't need to practice an hour a day to get better at this instrument, at anything really. Just a little bit every day will go a long way. So a lot of people have that mindset. If I don't practice for an hour, it's not worth practicing, and that's just not true. Okay, so for example, a good trick if you're having a hard time finding the time because you're literally so flat out, find something you do every day. You know that you'll have to do for example eating lunch or brushing your teeth and try and attach a little bit of practice to that activity that way it sort of becomes something that you associate and you know uh, add to that thing that you're gonna do anyway you know like you've never heard anyone say you know what I haven't eaten for a week because I didn't have time so if you think of it that way, you will find a little bit of time. And again, it doesn't have to be tons of practice, just a little bit every day. Now, I know a lot of us are really busy. We have significant others and children and all those kinds of things. So one thing that can really help, I mean, maybe not so much with children, but speak to your significant other and say, hey, this is something that's really important to me. I want to get really good at this. Is there any way we can make a little bit of time? You know, and sometimes it does require sacrifice uh, from more than just one person. And that's that can be tough. But as you know, if... Uh, if I'm, sh I'm sure if your significant other had something that was really important to them, you'd be happy to make a little bit of time for that as well and try and fit your practice in. I get that it can be difficult, um, but these are just some solutions with some of the things that happen. The last thing we want to be doing is not practicing, becoming resentful because we're not getting to do something that we want, okay, something for ourselves, and then things going bad later down the track. And one other thing I'll mention real quick is that Funnily enough, whenever you organize a performance or like a recital or something, it's amazing how much time people find to practice. So keep that in mind. It's usually there. You just have to find it, work with the people in your life and uh, and make it happen. Uh, number four, practice hurdles. Practice hurdles are things like, for example, my guitar has to be put away every night under the bed. And when I want to practice, I have to pull it out, open up the case, get the amp out, plug the amp in. These are all practice hurdles. The better a setup you have to just grab your guitar and play, the more likely you are to practice, okay? For example, at the moment, I'm trying to get better at banjo. I've got the banjo on the couch. Whenever the baby uh, is, um, you know, he's occupied for five to 10 minutes before he wants attention again, bang, I pick it up, try and squeeze a little bit in, drive everyone in the house nuts, and um, away I go. But it's paying off. I'm getting better. I'm, I'm achieving little things. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, just removing any practice hurdles. If I kept it upstairs and had to go upstairs every time I wanted to use it, that would be a small hurdle, but it's enough to make it not really doable. So keep that in mind. If possible, create a setup that means you, there are no hurdles to practicing. Try and have your amp ready to go. And if you can't play with a good sound, okay, you know, because of volume, get yourself some kind of headphone set up. It will be well worth it. And let's face it, you guys love, you guys and girls, I should say, love any excuse to spend some money. So there you go. Get yourself a good headphone set up if you, you find that, you know, you don't have an ideal setup um, for a good volume because that's a practice hurdle in itself. It's not going to sound good. I don't really want to, you know, change that, okay? No practice hurdles, more practice. Um, number three, this one's huge, okay? This is really important lack of direction. If you don't have direction with your practice, it's going to be really difficult to practice because you've got no reason. What am I practicing for? What am I practicing? What am I trying to achieve? These are questions you need to ask yourself, okay? If you're having a hard time with that, go see a teacher, okay? Even if it's just for one session, consult a teacher so you get a little bit of help, okay? Another bit of advice is, you know, jump on YouTube, find songs that you want to learn and just chip away at them. I've got a video on all of this stuff, so check it out in the link below. Go have a look at that video about, um, you know, basically how to practice better and I talk a lot about direction in that more or less. So, number two, this is a big one, probably just as important as the number one reason people aren't really practicing or may not be practicing, negative mindset. If you have any kind of negative mindset, you're going to find it really difficult. For example, I'm practicing but I don't think I'm going to get better from practicing. Well, of course, I'm not going to practice. Another example, I'm not going to do anything with this. What's the point? 
that's very negative. And of course, I'm not going to practice if I have that mindset. So you need to watch for these things. You may not even be aware that this is something that goes on in your head. Try to do a bit of self-analysis, maybe a little bit of, bit of reflection if you're not practicing and just try and weed that out. If there's any kind of reason that you're not picking up the guitar and working on things because you don't think it's going to lead to anything, you need to get rid of that. What you need to do is learn to enjoy practicing and everything else will come from there. Okay, so that's a really useful one. Try to be positive, you know, get rid of the negative mindset. Reason number one, you may not be practicing is distraction. Okay, and the counter to this is simply sacrifice. So what do I mean by this? Um, we have so many distractions now. Facebook, YouTube, Marketplace, Gumtree, you know, shopping, all these things, okay? Uh, streaming, Netflix, did I mention Netflix? All these things. Basically, there's nothing wrong with these things and these might be things you use to wind down or relax, but you're really not getting anything for that effort long-term. It's not really in, it's not really effort-based, so why would you get something back? So my thoughts are, of all of those things, can you sacrifice any of those things and replace it with practice? Because playing an instrument used to be what people did to relax. So they didn't have Netflix, they didn't have iPhones and YouTube and all that. It was all about this thing here. This is this is my hobby. This is what I do so I'm not just, you know, working the field or whatever, you know, um, working at the garage or whatever. This was the, the thing, you know, that you came home. I mean, before TV, imagine people had nothing to do, you know, um, hence the, the being large boom in the population. Oh, there are probably TVs around then. I don't know anything about history. Anyway, so guys, that's they're the, they're probably the biggest things. If you can sacrifice some of the things that you would you could consider a distraction and not do them and play guitar instead, you're gonna get somewhere. I promise you that. Okay, and not to get deeply philosophical, or maybe a little bit, but when you practice an instrument or practice anything ongoing, you unravel a little bit more every time. So you get a sense of progress, okay? Sometimes we may not have that in our lives in other areas. So it's really important to have that somewhere and that's what one of the things you can get from an instrument, okay? If you're, if you're following distractions and doing things, there's no real progress. It's just uh, entertainment and there's nothing wrong with that. But having a hobby is so important just for that. So make sure you can make a little bit of time for that progress because even if it's in your job or something like that, you're not going to work that job forever, but this is something you can do the rest of your life. Also, there are a ton of mysteries in life. And for me, playing guitar or whatever the instrument is and slowly reducing the amount of mystery by learning more and more about it, yeah, it gives me some sense of control. You know, it's a nice thing and, and, and a sense of knowing of at least something, okay? Because there's a lot of things that I'm not going to understand. So there you go, guys. What do you think? Which one is you? Which one of those problems has stopped you from practicing in the past maybe or currently? Um, and don't forget, share the video and let me know what you think. I will see you guys in the next one.